Bubble gum. Bubble gum or Barbie. Barbie. said that this was made with zucchini and lentil instead of normal pasta. It definitely has a different texture from normal pasta. Like it's not as springy, I suppose. I'm not even particularly vegan or vegetarian by any means, but I try eating more vegetables and trying out these different types of things whenever I have the opportunity to do so. see a bunch of bad photos. Oh, it's in a CD. No. Oh, but here's the. Wait, these are so bad.
When it comes to personality tests, I am not into astrology, but I am very, very obsessive over the Myers-Briggs test. I usually take this test about once every one or two months just out of my own curiosity and because I love reading up about the types and I like the questions and stuff they ask. I've only ever been two different types in my life, the INTJ, which is my most frequent, but over the last year I've been switching between INTJ and ISTJ. I think it's been about half a year since I last took it. I've been trying to postpone it because I feel like taking it repeatedly makes the results less accurate. But now that I've graduated college and it's been half a year, I'm curious to see if my mind is still at the same spot it was before. I feel like this question is actually pretty hard for me. At the core of my being, I believe I'm a very strong introvert, but lately I've been thinking about being social now that I'm done with school and I'm going into the adult world and everything. I feel like I get lonely quite easily, although I can certainly spend days by myself and not have any problem finding things to do or finding enjoyment. I don't know, I think being around other people is kind of exciting and more fun, which seems like a very extroverted thing because that would be getting energy from other people. So if I'm being honest with myself, as of now, I got ISTJ again. Okay, I still am very, very introverted. This is, see, I'm always very on the edge with my intuitive versus observant. I used to be like 70 or 80% thinking, but you know, slow progress. And this is no surprise.
no. Oh, wait, get that recorder. I made this little beaded, what is this called? Like a hand strap for my phone case. As you know, I've been very into making beaded jewelry, so it was inevitable that I would take a next step.
Why is this actually so tiny? 